Hi Booktube, it's Peg. I'm Martine. And Martine, and we are here to just announce for you, it's April 4th, so apologies for being a few days late. We are announcing April's Miss Marple of the Month. Um, and then Miss Marple of the Month. Gosh darn it. Marple of the Month. Miss Marple of the Month. And, um, and then we'll have some sundry housekeeping notes um, at the end of this video, towards the end. So we want to announce that if you are joining us on this, uh, this wonderful journey of reading Miss Marple Mysteries, um, this, is, this marks our, uh, our uh, fifth 18th. <laughs> fifth. I think it's the fifth book. I think it's the fifth. 27th. Yeah. Anyway. 152nd. It's a fairly short read. It's and it's about, awesome. And it's awesome. And Mar Martine will go into some more thoughts on that. It's about 230-odd pages. Yep. So we will be reading A Pocket Full of Rye this, sorry, this April. So this is our read. Mm-hmm for April. Um, as many of you might know, uh, Martine and I got really sick in March and yeah. I <laughs> had to I had to uh, hold off reading the March Miss Marple, which was They Do It With Mirrors. I basically flew through it. You did. It, it was a very short yeah. um, uh, read and I actually finished it just the other night. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're going to watch the adaptation um, tonight. Mm -hmm. And so that we have a, we're going to be filming the wrap up for They Do It With Mirrors mm -hmm. and not They Do It With Murder, like I said last time. I like that though. Although that might be the title of our, the overall, our overarching overall series of covering uh, Agatha Christie. Murder. They Do It With Murder. Yeah. That, that, and it was one of our viewers who proposed that. Wasn't think, it? No, you said it. Well, I said it, but she's like, "Why she's don't like, that's a great? Yeah. That's a great name. We might just keep." And they I can't do it think with who murder. it was right now, but it's, apologies. We can find it in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, thank you uh, for for you know giving us that vote of confidence there. Um, so let me read to you a little bit about a pocket full of rye. We'll give you the synopsis. Oh, can I say something real quick? Uh, okay. Um, so Christy has a um, proclivity towards. Uh, using titles from nursery rhymes um, and so this is the first uh, couplet or the first um, reference to a, a nursery rhyme that we've come across in the marble uh, okay. titles. That's all. Okay, great. Uh, this is a real quick um, description on the back. Rex Fortescue. What a great name. Yeah, another great name. Another great name. Yeah. Rex Fortescue, king of a financial empire, was sipping tea in his counting house mm -hmm. when he suffered an agonizing and sudden death. On later inspection, the pockets of the deceased were found to contain traces of cereals. Rice Krispies, Raisin Bran. Fruit Loops. Um, yet, it was the incident in the parlor which confirmed Miss Marple's suspicion that she was looking at a case of crime by rhyme. Oh, boy. Isn't that a great copy? It's actually better than that blurb. Yeah. <laughs> Crime by Rhyme. This was the first marble that I think I ever saw. I think I watched it with my grandmother. Okay. And I think it scared the bejesus out of me. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I was probably like maybe nine and it scared me. Well, they also say in the, in the top part of the, uh, the blurb, in this beloved tale from the Queen of Mystery, the bizarre death of a finan financial tycoon leads Miss Marple to investigate a series of murders disguised within nursery rhymes, mm -hmm. which is what you were just talking about. Right. And there's a so. Poirot called How Does Your Garden Grow as well. So the, the, um, the, she does other stuff. So. Yeah. So, um, again, apologies for coming to you on the April 4th, announcing the April read. But again, it's as you can see, it's a very slim read. And I read, um, this book was only about 30 pages smaller, but I read this in... Two Not sittings, to put pressure kind of. on anyone, it, you know, or to justify our, our delinquency, <laughs> right? Um, because if we start doing that now, we'll be here until the end of time. But um, pocket full of rye should be a fast, should be a fast read. Should be a fast read, it. and you know it's a longer month, so it's you know we've got plenty of time, guys. So um, if you have a copy, grab it from the library or from your shelf, or you know, steal it from a neighbor. Yeah, you know. But if there's um, a small child, just. Smack the child, take the book, Yeah, run. I'm really looking forward, though, to our wrap-up video of They Do It With Mirrors. Um, they do it with murder. <laughs> they, or they do it, and they did it with murder. Yeah. Um, and so I really want to see the adaptations before I comment further. However, uh, Agatha Christie's been in the news lately, I think uh, we've been hearing. And one of our astute viewers 
pointed it out to me. Mm -hmm. I didn't even hear about the story until, mm -hmm. um, and I'm sorry, I, I, I need to have the <laughs> our, our viewer's name up there. I don't have it, but thank it, you so much for it mentioning was, um, it. was hymns. Hymns are beautiful. Mm -hmm. That Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, and so then I Googled it, and sure enough, yeah, just like with Ra Raul Dahl, um, Agatha Christie and then Ian Fleming, everyone's coming in for rewrites. And I didn't even know that people employed sensitivity readers. So that might, we might be talking about that a little bit in our wrap-up video. Um, I'm not in favor. I'll just say that so right people now. People are just assholes. And, that, and no amount of rewrites is going to take care of that. I mean, I... You know, Ian Fleming's always going to be sexist. I don't care what you rewrite. Um, he's, his, his, mm -hmm. uh, his character of Bond is always going to be a sexist pig. I mean, always. That's mm -hmm. not going to change. And then mm -hmm. Roald Dahl, well, there are many issues with Roald Dahl, so where do you begin? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to go down that road, just don't read the books. Um, just don't read the but books. But then you deprive yourself of really kind of grim and dark, twisty children's fairy tales and, mm -hmm. and, and the adaptations like Angelica Houston and the Witches, absolutely yeah. sublime. Um, yeah. So, but, but he was not a nice man. No. Uh, you don't need to reword anything to, to, to get to the heart of that. So. No. I just, I just feel it's an overall uh, change in our... Um, I just think let people be jerks if they're jerks and you can read them or not. And that's it. Um, know, but I tell you something that's going to blow your mind about the adaptation. Of, of this is that Brian Cox from Succession oh, is, he in is in it. <gasps> he plays the husband of Carrie Louise. Oh, no kidding! No kidding. Well, and you know what? They just we just started not about a week ago. We started watching Succession for the first time, and and we've been depressed ever since. Yeah, I can only yeah. take it in small doses, but yet I want to I want to finish the storyline, but I can only take that type of negative and narcissistic behavior for so long. But Brian Cox, my goodness, yeah. So, yes, I got a lot of thoughts about this story, and um, so a little teaser, but we should have that video up this week, um, probably the next couple days. Yeah, we're going to, yeah. I'm gonna, we're going to upload this tonight so that you can get your copy of A Pocket Full of Rye, um, and, uh, but we're looking forward to covering, they do it with mur mirrors, and... You almost said it. I almost said it again. They would do it with murder. Mm -hmm. I do, a little teaser... I guessed, I guessed completely wrong on this one. So, mm -hmm. Agatha Christie, score one. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She she kind of, she fooled me on this one. Mm -hmm. I think I guessed wrong as well. Oh, okay, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Um, it was a good little number. Mm -hmm. um, I think out of like five stars, I gave it four. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I thought it was solid, it was good, it read well. What, what? You're getting ahead of yourself. I am. Oh. Okay, you're Don't just going to have to just... come back for a wrap-up. Because it's this intriguing. Mm -hmm. It's this intriguing. We're going to also, just like I said, we're going to review the, the TV adaptations as well and give you our, our feedback on what we thought of those. Yeah. Uh, are there two versions? I don't think so. So it's just jo Joanna, Joanne Although, you know what, Nixon, I or? think this is the adaptation that has Helen Hayes as an American Miss Marple, which I think I lasted, even though it had the beautiful Zef um, Stephanie Zimbalist in it. <laughs> Um, I could not from hey listen Remington Steele huge fan <laughs> stop about, it no no the, the 80s called they want their actress back no you can't have her I think I lasted five <laughs> minutes Stephanie into this I, I was like no 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 you can't no, have an American Miss Marvel you can't have an American Miss Marvel so we may skip that it may just be well which one it exists is it the Geraldine McEwen or no, the Joan Hickson no it's one you haven't seen it's uh, Julia McKenzie Oh, Who so we're gonna... from the Good Life, and that's really dating me. Wow, so we're going to have a brand new Miss Marple yeah. to analyze yeah. on the uh, on the. And her eye, she doesn't have uh, pancake makeup or um, to, allergies or watery blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Geraldine. <laughs> Poor Geraldine. Yeah. Although I find that when I'm reading these books now and the way they describe her, yeah, with the light blue eyes yeah. and the the pink face, the pink and white the face, pink eyes. And the, yes. Um, I, I, God, I'm now I'm seeing Geraldine McEwen no. more than I'm seeing Joan Hickson, and that's oh, unfortunate. That's tragic. I'm reading it, and I'm like, I'm not trying to visualize watery eyes here. I'm trying to visualize Joan Hickson, and it's just not working. Oh, no. Well, we're going to have to do something about that. Yes. So, there you have it, everyone. Just a quick announcement. We, wish, we just wanted to get this out there for you. Pocket full of rye. Miss Marple for yep. April. 
Can I just say one last thing? Absolutely. How lovely you guys have been with us being sick. Just, I've been reading, I, I kind of co-opt um, Peggy's um, messages sometimes, and sometimes her oh. message board too. Oh. Apologies for doing that, but you guys are so nice. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, thank you. You didn't have to be as, nearly as nice as you are. I can't believe you did that. What's that? What's wrong with that? We, oh, no, no. It's a thank I, you. Oh yeah, okay, all right. What's, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Namaste. Oh, that, oh, I didn't mean namaste. I was thinking of like a prayer. Mm. Oh, Lordy. <sighs> we think you're great. Yeah, we Thank think you're you great. So Thank you so much for all of your well wishes. We are back in action. We do everything we can to Goodness alienate, forbid. but you keep coming back. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. And Martine doesn't co-op the comments because you're part of this project. I, so, I, I have inserted myself. No, we decided to do this together. And so I think it is... I want you to be in there commenting because she, you know, Martine, as you know, has great insights into or I just Agatha Christie and then Miss Farrell. I have too much time on my hands. No. And, and you guys are awesome, though, and I've really enjoyed the conversations, and yeah. it's been so thoughtful but kind, and that's really the point, of, the point that I wanted to get across. Yes. So thank you so much. And keep the comments coming. So yeah. please engage with us uh, yeah. with um, the, uh, they, they do it with mirrors. They did it with mirrors. Whatever. This one they was a hard mag one. Magnolias. Yes. Uh, okay. So we're going to talk about this. This is coming. This video will be coming um, in a couple days. Yeah. And it, it might be a longer one. So, you know, last time we had an hour long wrap up. But uh, mm, yeah, rambly wrap up. It was rambly. It probably won't be as long. So, you know. Well, given that this was a, supposed to be a short announcement and it's how long now? See, this is how we operate. It's, uh, mm. We're Nothing going on 12 done. minutes. Nothing I don't know. It's done. Okay. We're going to go now. Okay, everyone. Thank Thanks, you again. Bye-bye. See ya.